Hi, I'm Rebecca Pryor from the Napoleon Purtis Education Team and today I wanted to share with you some tips and information about achieving a fuller lip. The general rule if you want your lips to appear fuller is to use lighter shades because they reflect more light. But today I want to show you how to do it with colour so that you've got options. I love using Autopilot Lip Service as a bit of a prepping step to any sort of lip look because it gives a nice, soft, hydrated start. The next step in creating a larger lip look is to apply concealer in a slightly lighter shade all over the entire lip area and this will reflect the light and start to give that more sizeable sort of feel. At Napoleon when it comes to lips we always say line lips last. In this particular instance we're going to do that but I want to show you how I line lips first and last, just to help give you a guideline of where you're going with your lips. We're going to start by using Pinot Noir lip pencil because it's quite close to the natural lip shade. Napoleon always suggests starting your lip pencil from the outside and working in so that it gives you nice balance. And so once we've done our lip pencil in Pinot Noir, I'm going to blend it just a little bit with the 7R socket brush. It's nice and round so it will glide over the lips really easily. Because my lips aren't particularly small to start off with, I've just stuck to my natural lip line. But if your lips are a little bit thin, feel free just to push the edge of that lip line and work right on the boundary where your natural lip sits. When you're doing your lip pencil, I find that you can get great stability by resting your pinky finger on your chin. The lip product that we're going to use today is Divine Goddess Lipstick in Calypso, a nice bright pink. When trying a lip shade for the first time to see if it suits you, Napoleon suggests trying it on the centre of the lips so that you can see the best results. I'm going to be using a powder today, but if you wanted to keep it creamy, you could also use something like the Light Switch palette. And so we apply the powder to the centre of the bottom lip and the centre of the top lip. This brings the focus there and makes your lips look fuller. And this is where we line our lips last and I'm using Lip Pencil Hot Pink to match the lip colour a little bit more and just tie everything in place. At this point you can leave it how it is with the light reflection of the powder giving your lips a more sizeable effect or you can do what I'm going to do and just go one step further with a gloss. I'm using Luminous Lip Veil in the flesh. If you just want a subtle enhancement you can apply your gloss just to the centre of your lip. If you want a fuller effect you can do what I'm doing and apply it all over the lip area. And that's how you achieve a fuller lip. Now you're ready to get your smooch on.